What's up world, One Tech Traveller here. Now, I've done a written review of the Aeronum Alan Walker X Urban Mask 2.0 on my website. A lot of you have been hitting it up and learning more about how to better protect yourself in this current situation. I thought I'd share my thoughts, experience, the good, the bad, and what you need to know. Make sure you join Team KBA by subscribing to my channel. So uh, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> the Aerionum Urban Air Mask 2.0. Let's go ahead and slide this out. Welcome to the world's most advanced air mask. In Walker edition, if you don't know him, he is a world-renowned music producer. So Aerionum have partnered with Alan Walker to create this and spread awareness about breathing a better future. The lid shows you how you can wear these and put all the elements together. Let's take this one out, express to progress. It's uh, signed by Alan Walker. The bottom elements here, we have the head strap, which loops around your head for a more secured fit. It is optional, you don't have to wear it all the time, but it's nice that it's included in case you want the extra hold. And then we have two of the front face mask valves. This is the face mask itself. It is reusable, washable, we have the personalized Alan Walker dog tag. Alan Walker featuring Aeronum protection, PM 2.5 bacteria and pollen. This is a reflective glow in the evening. You can adjust the fit on both sides of the loop so you can really fit it how you want. And then on the back, a different material from the front. So much more silkier and a softer. And we have two Velcro parts on the sides to attach the air filters. We also have more goodies. We have the travel pouch and we have two urban air mask filters. These are the air filters 2.0. So these are the second generation, both the face mask and the filters. We can see the two filtration valves that go behind the face mask and those Velcro loops here. On the back of each filter, very robust, very solid and well built. Difference in quality from the standard face mask you can get from convenience stores. Plenty of foam that molds against your nose for that added comfort and fit. Line it up with the side Velcro straps. There we go. Adds a bit more thickness. And then let's get those valves to finish it off. This is going to secure the face mask and the filter. Line up the Aeronym logo. And there we go. Good coverage underneath as well for your chin and along your jawline. And uh, yeah, you can resize this. And then we also have this head loop. Elastic, nice stretchy material, but feels good. And on the back, we have a little strip here. I'm not sure, maybe a silicone slip gel. And there you go. We have the travel pouch. The inside has a... Uh, sort of fabric material, not much friction, quite smooth, but it's very well built, not cheap quality. Let's fold it in and there you have it. So I've had this for a couple of months before all of the craziness sort of happened. And I've pretty much been using this at some point every day whenever I'm going out. Besides the colors and some like designs or prints that you find on the like main front exterior, they're all made of the same material. They are washable and reusable. So you just need to detach the filters and either hand wash it or put it in the washing machine. Let it air dry and then you can put the filters back in. Some of the key things that you need to know is that this is a filter type of face mask. It is equivalent to the American standard and certified N95, KF94, or the European FFP2 and FFP3, which means that these are going to be the most effective when it comes to filtering out the different types of bacteria and parts all the way to PM10. Now I like the Aeronum face mask because the exterior part uh, is really well designed, has a very nice stable fit and you can actually adjust it with these cords on either side that loops around your ear. So let me go ahead and put it on for you. There you go. So I've already sized it to my face and you don't need to adjust it all the time. You want it to be very fitted against your face, your jawline. So it's able to really hug your face well and is 
essentially like any face mask that you're wearing uh, is going to give you the best type of protection uh, there's no point in having it loose because it creates other outlets in it and what you're trying to filter out uh, can get through so having it very fitted is the way that you want to do it sorry if it's a bit muffled i'll take it off soon i'm able to breathe very well the 1.0 and 2.0 they share pretty much the same filter performance across the two uh, you can't interchange from urban mask 1.0 and 2.0 because they fundamentally have a difference in the design uh, but it shares the same materials and the filtration performance right let's take that off so if you aren't used to face masks they are going to feel a little bit different and they are different from your more disposable face mask or those without the filters the biggest difference is of course going to be the fit uh, because you can really adjust the straps and it is going to take some time to get used to wearing this before you know you're not wearing anything in the front you can kind of breathe how you want to uh, but this especially when it's much more fitted and closed off then you might find it in the beginning a bit harder to breathe that is natural very common eventually you will get used to wearing the Aranum face mask filters are very well made uh, Aranum quotes about 100 hours total of use per filter maybe more maybe less depending how often you find yourself outdoors so of course I'm not going to ignore the coronavirus pandemic that was going around right now but relevant to the Aaron and face mask I have used these in situations where because we aren't like in lockdown or quarantined to our homes we can actually move around then of course having the face mask gives you that extra protection it covers above the nose and also the chin so you can get a really nice snug fit and you kind of know when it's fitted well the filter is actually slightly smaller than the mask so it does cover the top because we have that like spongy nose pinch here that allows you to fit it around various nose types mine's quite like big and wide uh, but it's very comfortable to wear for a long period of time and as long as you are wearing them the right way then you are going to get the most from this they're definitely more on the pricier side of trying to find effective like filter face masks uh, that do a similar job but if you want one that has more of an aesthetic part to it uh, longer life filters that means you don't have to change them too often and just a worthwhile investment to help you and reduce your sort of disposable approach when it comes to face masks um, then these are a good quality alternative if you can step up your budget uh, to cover the cost of the Aranum face mask uh, I think you're going to be very satisfied with it and having the filters even though you do have to dispose of them every so often it's not as frequent as those single use like cheaper face masks that you do have to dispose of and sometimes you know up to multiple times a day and also the cost does start to rack up where eventually you could find the cost would be just a single Aranum face mask when it comes to the filters they rated 100 hours uh, it's kind of something that you gauge if you are using them heavily then of course you might find you need to replace them quicker uh, some signs of use is of course um, it will pick up your moisture your saliva while you are walking or just the sort of face moisture uh, because it can sort of build up some like sweat in here more of a hygienic point of view you just want to replace the filters so you do have to bear that in mind and the filters aren't cheap uh, you can get them in various packs of I think three six nine twelve maybe fifteen something like that I would recommend getting a whole bunch in one go so you only pay one shipping cost and that's going to last you for a really long time before having to get some new fresh ones shipped in some of the things that they could improve on is the little nose piece here the nose pinching foam here helps to form it well but i found that the adhesive to the mask is wearing off i've used this of course very frequently um, but i would like them to see stronger adhesives especially towards the tips you can kind of see it flapping off i'm pretty much using it at some point every day because i'm going through this city uh, going among like people these not only provide a barrier to sort of keep your hygiene and bacteria like contained within your mask and then cleaning that afterwards um, but it also is going to give you that filtration performance especially if you are in cities where pollution can get very bad and here it can this is going to cut out a lot of that air pollution that is harmful for your lungs this isn't going to remove any like smells that you can get in the street so uh, if you're passing people that are like smoking like car Perfumes, you are still going to smell it it's not suddenly just gonna like block everything with like smells and stuff but you can rest assured that as long as you've got it really fitted well against your face that it is going to stop you from breathing and inhaling the bad particles in the atmosphere all right so that pretty much wraps up my video review of the Aranum 
Urban Mask 2.0. If you think these are the right face masks for you, I'll put the link down below. You'll find my full written review on my website at onetechtraveler.com. Make sure you join the Team KBA community by subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot, world. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and look after your health. Keep being awesome.